Hey guys, and welcome back to Shocker and Zero Taurus. Today we're going to be taking a look at creating our own custom food item. So let's just get started here, shall we? So we're opening up, I'm just opening up Eclipse here, and I'm getting this all started. Um, this tutorial is going to be very, very, very quick. It's not that that hard to do. I'm not going to do a texture for this one because we all know how to do textures now. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get we're going to get into it. So uh, with our custom where our custom item is here, we're just going to start typing right here, I guess, just to keep stuff sorted out. So public static item, sample food, make it equal to new sample food I or sample food class and dot set on localized name and we're just going to give it sample food and we're going to have two parameters we're going to put in uh, we're going to make like a um, uh, well, well we'll play around with the number anyway so we're going to start with two and false okay and I will explain what these are after we create the class and stuff like that uh, so, but first, we're going to go down. We're going to register our, our our item. So, just going to find it here. Sample item. There we are. So, I'm just going to so game registry. Dot register item. Sample food. Sample food. And then for our language stuff, as you remember, and I got to put a capital R on registry there. There we go. As we as we all know. On our uh, in here uh, for our uh, for uh, for what the, the item's gonna be called, we go item uh, dot sample food dot name is equal to sample food. Perfect, fantastic. So now we're just gonna create this class. And I'm gonna go uh, so we'll hover over it and click create class. Actually, what is that? Is that uh, I fucked that up. Sample food class there we go okay so we're gonna hover over this scroll down a little bit and we're gonna go create class and then click finish actually that's in the wrong spot as well as many of other other things in here so we're gonna quickly uh, create these so we're gonna go new package uh, dot combat and then dot combat Ah, oh, shit, not what I want to do. <laughs> cancel, cancel, cancel. Uh, so I'm just going to grab the axe, hoe, pickaxe, shovel, sword, and we're just going to throw those into combat just to get them. Just click OK. It's gonna, oh, that'll update the references, and then sample food we're going to drag into item. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Done. All right, so now we got this class, sample food. It's in the right. Uh, class in the right package. Now we're going to extend uh, sample or uh, item food and Control Shift Command Shift O to import, and then hover over the class name and add constructor. So actually, we have two different ones that that we can put in here. Uh, we have we have the first one, which is an int in a boolean, and then the second one, which is an int a float in a boolean. Now this is now. Depending on what you want, uh, if, if you want to spec, uh, we're actually we're gonna go with. Well, I didn't plan it this way, but we're gonna go with this second one here. Um, gives us a few more options. So this first option is uh, um, hunger amount. So uh, basically, how many heart, how many hunger it's gonna fill. Okay. Um, and then uh, so I'm going to try and bring these all into one line. There we go. And then the second one is um, it's like the retention of the food. So like, um, uh, how would I explain it? Um, it's like actually we can just look right here. Let's just go into this class here. We can. Uh, it's like um, the saturation modifier. So basically, after you eat it. Uh, after you eat a food item, uh, depending on what you eat, so let's say like in the game, if you eat a cookie, it's gonna give you one heart, and or even or even a half a heart, 
and just a little bit of saturation but if you eat pork or cook steak or something like that then it's going to give you you know the more hearts but it's going to give you more saturation which means it's going to last longer so uh i'm not sure how <laughs> how how much that makes sense so i'm just going to call this saturation and then put that down here as well and then this last one is is wolf uh, is uh, so we'll call it is wolf food so basically uh, can a wolf eat it so uh, we're gonna have to go back here we have to change our what is wrong with this change visibility there we go okay that was an issue apparently apparently that's an issue on this one too change visibility Okay, so now we just got to change these. So we're gonna have two for the. We're gonna put two for the hunger, and then our saturation is gonna be zero. I should make it. Uh, let's see. Can we get any kind of examples of what these are? I'm not sure. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, doesn't seem not sure what I should. Let's just put on. Uh, let's set the hunger to just 0 0.4 f. Just uh, I think that's for like a cookie or something like that. So very low. And actually, I was just as I, as I was looking through that, there's some more things that I would like to show you with the with, with custom food as well. So we got if we go into the item food uh, dot class file here, which is the compiled Java file. Uh, so we got the use duration, blah blah blah, this stuff, saturation modifier, uh, heal amount, and the wolf set creative tab. Uh, so that's the one thing we have to do is we have to set our creative tab. So set uh, creative tab, and we're gonna go main class dot sample tab, and then we're gonna go set texture name, and I'm just gonna set it to main class dot mod ID and plus uh, double quote then in within the double quotes you're gonna put a colon and then sample sample food I'm not actually gonna create that but at least it's there uh, so we're gonna start this here we should be good to go alrighty so we're in the game let's open up our world and after our world is open, okay, world is open. Wow, we got lots of shit in here. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm just going to come down here. So we're going to grab, I'm just going to go to our, out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Sample tab. Grab a stack of our food. And I'm going to grab a sword. And some spawn eggs. I just need to decrease. Um, so we'll grab uh, zombies. Zombies are easy enough to deal with. There you go. Game mode S. Spawn a zombie and kill it. Spawn another zombie and kill it. Spawn another zombie and kill it. Spawn. Oh shit. I don't want a baby bastard. There we go. So we should be draining food here. Booyah, 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 booyah. We'll also just run around a little bit. We just gotta drain food here. So we're just gonna walk around here for a bit. So we'll come back when I've lost enough food. All right, so we're back and we got some food. We got some, uh, some, we got our hunger down here by four and we're almost out of health. That's why I just want to get this done. So, um, we got five now. That's great. Fantastic. So that's perfect. So I'm just going to kill this sheep. Hello, sheep. Okay. So we're just going to eat some of our food here. So spawn, so sample food. And as you can see, we're going up by one health bar each time. 
So now I'm just gonna show you so, um, the stuff in. Uh, so we go back to our main class here, and we got this set, and we got the two. We set our hunger to two. So if we let's say we double that to four. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you how this works. So the way this works is, so since the bars are divided up in like each piece of uh, each icon for your health bar is divided up into two, so you have half and full, half and full. Um, basically. Uh, one hunger is half of a icon. Two hunger is a full icon. So you be, so if you want to have let's, let's say you want to have if you want to have one, if you want to fill one full uh, thing of jigger, then you're then you're gonna want to have two. If you want two, you want four. If you want three, six, and so on and so forth. So now that we've changed that to four, and I'm just gonna up this to like I don't know. 1.0 f maybe and that's launch okay so loading up the game here I don't think I closed it the last time there we go so we got it open here oh, uh, we're gonna load up our world again so now when we eat our food it should be generating two levels instead of one okay so I'm just gonna kind of jump around here a little bit more Get that down to an even amount. And then you can for sure see the how it's how it's working. So just jump around. La -de -da, -de -da, da 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 There we go. So now we got down. So now if we eat one of these, it should give us two. Gives us two. And there you go. So that's pretty much how food works for the for the most part. So uh, I think in the next one we'll create like a potion effect tutorial. So we'll create our own custom potion, uh, which is I'm pr if I if I if I got it right, it's basically a food item with a potion effect. So we'll go over that in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, like the video if this helped you in any way. And also like the video if you, uh, you want to see more of this stuff. Because this is apparently this is great stuff. Everyone loves these tutorials and stuff. So that's great. So next time, uh, we will work on creating our own custom potion effect and then after that I got I just got a bunch of tutorials I'm gonna I'm, try, I'm trying to get done so I'm just gonna kind of do them like a random order not of difficulty or anything like that just pick one that I want to do and do it all right guys thanks for watching see you guys in the next one